bad with money and making lousy financial choices? Well, it turns out you can be bl you can blame your gender and your personality type. No matter your genetic makeup, we all have a chance to develop good investing and spending habits. And it's important to do that. So joining us now and live this afternoon is financial professional Nick Folks with Wealth Wisconsin. He tells us what we need to know about ourselves to stay on top of our finances. Does it really come down to our personality and genetics? Yeah, it definitely does. It's it's funny because the survey really kind of gave extroverts a bad rap there. And if you're an extrovert, you're likely to die broke. Which was, <laughs> so marry someone who's an introvert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. But that, that comes off a little bit harsh. You, right, have remember, does, yeah. you have to remember some of the good things about extroverts. That's They're right. typically the big personalities at the party. They also hold a lot Donald of the higher... Good yeah, they, they <laughs> at the, fundraising. There we go. They have the large CEO positions. Uh -huh. uh, they're the high income earners. But with that big personality, big income, also comes some big spending. Uh, they're typical... Uh, they're typically uh, more likely to spend more mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, in comparison to somebody who's an introvert. Introvert, they kind of keep to themselves. They also like to keep their money to themselves mm -hmm. as well. So that's uh, part of the personality. Don't we call those people cheap? No, we call <laughs> frugal. 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 I like frugal. 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 There you go. Frugal and, uh, is a big part of it. My family calls me cheap. <laughs> All right, so women are superior to men when uh, it comes to finances? Uh, yeah, Investing? yeah, exactly. Yeah. Women are, are actually superior to men. People ask me, well, why is that? Yeah. I say it's yeah. probably the same reason that they're the ones who go through pregnancy. Patience. Yeah. Women yeah. are more calculated in uh. their investment risks. Over time, they, they study ahead of time. And yeah. when they invest, they invest for the long haul. They're less likely to move their uh, dollars around. Men, we can become a little bit more overconfident uh, or overconfident. And we try to beat the market or chase yeah. the market. Mm -hmm. And so we move money a little bit too quickly. Mm -hmm. And it can cost us over time. Okay, so back to the personality traits. Introverts, extroverts, better investors, who? Uh, the introvert typically is going to be the better investor, the reason being they will invest more over time. The extrovert, as I said earlier, is more likely to spend money, whereas the introvert is more likely to save that money and therefore invest it. So I'm sure as you're talking to investors, you can kind of tell that the, the husband might be on one side, the wife <laughs> could be on the other. How do you get them on the same page? Really, it's having a common goal. Uh, when a couple has a goal where they have a greater yes Mm -hmm. retirement perhaps mm -hmm. that can help them to say no to purchases mm -hmm. now it can really change the whole focus of what it is they're doing having a greater why behind what we do will change everybody in regards to handling their so, finances so if you're single and you're not with a couple how can we overcome our personalities or genders to be a better investor there's it, it's difficult and it takes discipline but certain things uh, automatic savings Pay yourself first. Right. Take it out of your paycheck. If you have a problem with credit cards, make sure that you, what we call, go green. Purchase, thing in, purchase things in cash. Keep cash on you to pay for a lot of things. And then uh, finally, one of the biggest parts that people really have to do is they have to have a greater reason to say no. So is that yeah. So now there's the a greater reason to say no. Yeah, uh, the, if you're a spendthrift, make okay. sure you have a waiting rule for yourself too. How What's many that? hours? That's uh, typically if you want something, give yourself 48 hours to decide 48. if you really want that. That was 24. <laughs> I can see. That was 24. It's 48, 48 hours. Okay. See, if you wanna, see if you want to keep it. Okay. Uh, if you still want to buy that, 48 hour waiting period. And then buy it with cash. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Buy it with see, cash. I'm learning, I'm learning. Good stuff. Got a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail, the number right there on your 